what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Recently, YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki was on CNN talking about the many changes that are happening at YouTube, including what they're doing to combat misinformation surrounding the coronavirus pandemic. Very disturbing news. She said one of the things that they're going to do is they're going to be raising authoritative information. They are also going to be blocking videos that contain unsubstantiated medical advice. For instance, she said, if you tell someone to take vitamin C to combat coronavirus, they are going to remove your video. I'm not with that family because she said that if people go against who that is the World uh, Health Organization, if they go against any advice that the World Health Organization gives, they're gonna remove the video. Is that not censorship? What happened to freedom of speech in America? Is this communist China? This is bad, family, because if they're doing it like that, then they can also do that when it comes to politics. I mean, we know that a lot of that is already going on, but now they can be straight out front with it and say, if you don't support the views of the Libertarian Party or the Republican Party or the Democratic Party or the Independent Party, we're going to remove your videos. If you're speaking out against those parties, we are going to remove your videos. If you speak out against Nazis, we are going to remove your videos. If you speak out against plumbers, electricians, if you say anything about a bad teacher, we are going to remove your videos. This is censorship, family. I'll tell you this, I knew that it was going to get there. Get there. When I saw the power that Facebook had, when I saw them before they got to a billion, when it was like 100 million subscribers, then it kept growing. I said, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, we in trouble. Because if they can control all of that information from hundreds of millions of people, they can control the people. They can program them just like television does. But people are on social media more than their own television now. If you see the same images over and over and over again, the same message over and over and over again, usually they say that you have to see a message three times before you purchase something. Imagine seeing that same message every single day, 365 days out of the year. That would tend to sway your opinion in the direction they want it to be swayed, right or wrong. This is bad, fam. And I know some people out there, well, you know, their platform, their rules. When somebody says that, then you already know what type of person that is, right? But even though they're right, if it's their platform, it's their rules, Say, well, get our own platform. I agree. But you got to start with a search engine. Because if Google owns the search engine, then they can filter the information that goes into that engine, right or wrong. So you got to deal, you got to start with the infrastructure first. Can't just go get. Uh, an answer to Instagram or an answer to YouTube or an answer to uh, Facebook because Google controls the search engines 
And Yahoo controls the search engine. Bing controls the search engine. Brave controls the search engine. So you have to have a search engine first and foremost. And then you have to have the servers to hold the information. That's a lot of money. Now we got it, we got the money, but it's going to take a concerted effort. People gotta to get together, they gotta to pool the resources and get the minds behind it and then go for it like that. But just going to try to get an answer to Instagram or YouTube, you think YouTube really gonna let you compete against YouTube? when you have to go through their parent company company to search for your company, people have to, your customers will have to go to, through Google's search engine, the parent company of YouTube, to get to your company that's competing against YouTube. How do you think that's gonna work out? It's not. This is why it's so hard. There have been those who have tried, but that, is putting, you're trying to compete against YouTube straight up or Instagram or Facebook, trying to do that first, that is like putting the carriage before the horse. It's not gonna work. But maybe some of you have some brighter ideas. I would love to hear them. But this is bad, bad news. And this is not even what YouTube was built on. None of these search engine, uh, well, none of these uh, companies these uh, social media companies were built on censorship. They were built on people being able to go in and say what they wanted to say and not have to worry about being censored. I do believe that as long as somebody is not uh, out there saying, threatening people, uh, trying to cause harm to someone, uh, you know, recruiting for hate groups, I say let people say what they want to say and let the people decide who they want to believe because the World Health Organization hasn't always gotten it right, just like the CDC hasn't always gotten it right. That, what they're saying right now, what YouTube CEO is saying is that if you tell people, if you make a video and you tell people that a holistic diet is better than taking medicine or vaccine that the CDC or the WHO has recommended, you can have your video taken down from their platform and you could possibly have your channel suspended. Not good, family. Not good at all. But drop a comment and let me know what you think. No more talk. What the talking about?